welcome back to my channel. Today's video is the October 2019 Boxy Charm versus Ipsy. If this sounds like a video for you, let's go ahead and jump right in. Okay, guys, so this is where we put Boxy Charm up against Ipsy. Both are very similar in price. Starting in November, they will be exactly the exact same price. These are beauty boxes that have five full size products inside of them. And we're going to go ahead and put the October 2019 boxes up against each other. I'm going to start off and do a quick little review or recap showing you guys what is in each box, then giving you guys my final thoughts on which box I feel like came out ahead. Now I did do dedicated videos for both of these boxes. Now you know with BoxyCharm, if you have been with me for a while, you know that I did receive two BoxyCharms this month and I did put them head to head. So what I decided to do for this particular video is to just go ahead and choose the box that was my favorite, which was Variation 18, and put that up against this Ipsy box. So, starting off some of the products that we did receive in our October, October Variation 18 box was the Iconic London Prep Set and Glow Mist. I have this on today, I love this. Like I said in my dedicated review video, I do feel like because of the fragrance, some people may not enjoy this, but I actually do. I feel like it gives you a really pretty natural radiant glow from within. The next item we did receive was a five pan dose of color palette. Now in this particular box, I did receive the Sassy Siennas, which is one that I already have in my collection. That is going to end a giveaway for one of you guys. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out when I do a giveaway. If you are curious about what's on my eyes today, I'm actually using the Blushing Berries and I have a whole tutorial coming up very soon for you guys. The next item we did receive is the Mellow Tinted Brow Gel in the, dark, uh, the shade Dark Brown. I did like this. I do feel like it was one that I couldn't use by itself because that's just not the kind of brows that I have. I will tell you guys if you don't like to brush this on because you feel like the wand is too big or something, I have found success with dabbing some right here onto my hand like so and then just taking a brow brush or what have you and just going ahead and doing your brows this way. I actually do like doing it that way and even though this is a darker color, you can go in very light handed as you guys can see on my brows, they're not like over the top or anything and I have a lighter color hair where typically I use a blonde type of pencil or pomade or what have you. So. Just a quick little tip, if you want to still get the most use out of this, just do it that way. And like I said, it doesn't look bad whatsoever. The next item we did receive is the Hollywood and Vine Crown Pencil in Black. I have this on again today. Like I told you guys in that dedicated video, it was very sharp and very pointy, but once you like dolled it down a little bit. It's very comfortable, it lasts all day, and I actually really like this. The last item, and again, I have this on today with some of my L'Oreal Primer. This is a Hank and Henry Double Ended Mascara that we did receive in our BoxyCharm for October, and I really, really like this. I have to be careful with it though because it is double-sided, and this side in particular is a very tiny wand and I end up poking myself in the eye. That's more operator error than it is anything to do with this product, but I do like this product. So moving over to the Ipsy box, uh, I don't believe they give you a variation as far as that goes. I could be wrong, but looking at my card, it doesn't appear that there's any sort of variation unless it, maybe it's box 107 OC, OC 19. I don't know. So, moving on to the first item I did receive. This is the Jules Smith Beauty Lip Glossers. You got two of them in there. I actually have them on my lips today. I know it doesn't match my eye look, but I'm filming three videos today. And yeah, you're gonna see the shirt a lot. But hashtag productive when the thyroid's going good. So I do really like these lip glosses. I felt that they were really comfortable. They're really pretty. They don't stick. They remind me a lot of like the Fenty Gloss Bombs or even Drugstore. I'd say like the Makeup Revolution L'Oreal lip glosses. Very comfortable. No issues. They're not long wearing, but they are very comfortable. The next item I did get was the Fire Dancer Chrome Paint Pot by Tarte. Again, I have this. Oh, I made a mess. Somehow I made a big old mess with that. 
I have this on my lid today with the Blushing Berries palette. Very, very pretty, very pigmented. I will say it works best if you do use your finger. So if you're not into using your finger with your eyeshadows, you're probably not going to enjoy this, but I personally really enjoy it. The next item that I thought was a complete waste was the Trasique, I guess is how you say it. This is like a little highlighter. You do not get much product whatsoever. And I'm not even for sure if this is even uh, showing you guys, but it is a duochrome type of highlighter. What I did is I put it right in the inner part of my lid. For that purpose, I do like it, but for me, it doesn't so much work as a highlighter. And then the next item I received, which I've not tried out yet, is the Perlice, I guess is how you say it, Prevent Blue Loftus Brightening Serum. This is a full size and it is expensive and I've not tried it yet so I'll have to get back to you guys on that. Then I did receive the Betty Boop. This is a little trio of blusher and highlighter. I do have a little bit of those on today and I don't know how long they'll last or anything like that but I can tell you they applied beautifully. And then last but not least we did get a Betty Boop bag which I thought was pretty cute. Not necessary but you guys told me it was free in the box. It wasn't one of our actual products and in that case I thought it was pretty cute overall I will say that this month was definitely I feel like more closer of a tie than last month last month 100% I would have told you guys I thought that boxycharm pulled out ahead but this month I was pretty pleased with the products that I got I don't think it was like over the top for me for ipsy um, and I did already have this sassy sienna palette as well as the blushing berries palette in my collection but all these products right here 100% I have continuously kept reaching for which kind of makes it more like leaning towards the boxy on that but I will say forcing myself to use the Betty Boop trio the lip glosses the tart and the highlighter that's where I feel like it's evened it out and it's made it very even as far as ipsy and boxy goes so I don't know for me personally I think they were both really good boxes and forcing myself to use the products that initially looking at I would have been like mm, I don't think so I'm pretty happy with both of them and I'm gonna say that October 2019 was definitely a tie between boxy and ipsy if you guys got a boxy charm and it or an ipsy glam bag plus let me know a couple things. Let me know what products you received in each, and then let me know which box you preferred, whether it be my Ipsy or my Boxy, or your Boxy and your Ipsy, whatever. I just love hearing from you guys in the comment section down below. Anyways, guys, that's gonna be all for today's video. Haley just stopped by with Lucy, and it's Lucy's birthday. So they are in my backyard running around like two crazies, and I'm gonna go check them out. So anyways, guys, I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are. Don't forget to check my description box down below for a referral link to both BoxyCharm and to Ipsy. I will tell you, the BoxyCharm link is an affiliate link, so if you do decide to sign up and receive a BoxyCharm, then I will make a small little commission, so just letting you guys know. There's a lot of coupon codes down below for you guys, and until next time, as always, I hope you all have a wonderful, beautiful, and blessed day. Kisses from Kentucky. Bye. So cheesy.